Hello friends, in this video we will be talking about renewable energy, its positive and negative aspects, the progress at the world level, the ways to improve it and our goals from renewable energy. Renewable energy is the energy derived from non-replenishable sources, hence it can never be exhausted and can be regenerated whenever required. Types of renewable energy are Solar energy is the energy derived from the sun. It has less maintenance, more durable and easily lasts for around 30 years. Wind energy is the energy derived from the wind. It has even more potential compared to the existing need. It has a very low operational cost as well. Energy derived from water is called hydro energy. It does not have any pollution. It is highly flexible and the desired quantity can be obtained. Other forms of renewable energy are also being worked on and progress has been seen in them. Around 1 in 5 people, mostly in Africa and Asia, have no access to electricity, which means that around 3 billion people around the world depend on traditional sources like wood and coal. 80% of our energy comes from renewable sources such as coal, natural gas and petroleum, whereas mere 10% comes from nuclear and 10% from renewable sources. So, in form of renewable energy are hydroelectricity, wood, biofuels, wind, whereas the others are solar, geothermal and energy derived from waste. Renewable sources of energy are the biggest patterns of climate change and are responsible for three-fifths of the total global emissions of greenhouse gases. The United Nations has a vision to double the global efficiency of these sources by the end of this decade and provide cheap energy over a large scale. Namakura district in Zambeza district of Mozambique was deprived of electricity for many decades, but now it will be provided electricity by the United Nations under the United Nations Clean Energy Initiative. There are numerous advantages of using renewable energy. Firstly, it is not responsible for climate change. Secondly, it has no direct greenhouse gas emissions. The indirect ones are also negligible. It has no adverse effects on health. It can be renewed whenever needed. It is very easy to operate and cheap to maintain. In spite of the advantages, there are many disadvantages and challenges. Firstly, it is difficult to provide ener renewable energy on large scale similar to non-renewable energy. It can harm natural habitats by constructions of dams and wind farms. And some of them can only function at a given time like solar energy. In 2017, a huge part of global investment was for renewable energy in order to move from greenhouse gas producing energy to clean and environmental friendly power sources. Germany is one of the world's leading countries with regard to renewable energy research and development. It has also provided renewable energy to all its citizens via electricity. The introduction of renewable energy has been very beneficial for Germany. Uh, on an economic front, it has created around 300,000 to 500,000 jobs. Uh, it has also attracted a good amount of investment. We have received around $30 billion in a good year of investment and around $18 billion in a bad year. So we are keeping good on it. Uh, mainly on the environmental front, we have uh, reduced the carbon dioxide emissions by around 180 million tons per year and that has been a terrific achievement that none of the other European Union countries have achieved. In 2015, the Australian Parliament passed Renewable Energy Amendment Bill 2015, which would reduce the renewable targets by nearly 25%. This would be a great blunder for Australia. With the world progressing towards renewable energy, it is a major setback that such a developed country is at such lean patch with regards to it. The government has planned to attract investment by giving financial incentives, but this measure by the government has not been fruitful yet. On the other hand, the same policy has had tremendous success in developing countries such as China, India, Brazil, South Africa and Canada.
Well, renewable energy possesses some challenges, but it also offers an environmental friendly alternative to greenhouse gas emission and fossil fuel pollution. Advances in this field are aimed to make it more economic and convenient. The goal is to reduce the dependency on carbon and its products in order to produce clean and eco-friendly and